Monday morning, the latest edition of the locker room then. So we've got a few football bets I'm going to give out in a second from the Euro 2024 qualifiers. Uh, I've got a bet for these uh, would need to be on before Friday. So I'm going to fire through that just now for you. Many of you may have seen the video I've done about six, seven days ago when I gave out a, a special bet for the Formula 1. It was Sergio Perez in the Drivers' Championship market and it was an each way bet on him. Uh, two places uh, for the odds at 10-1. And what I did say looked like a two horse race. So obviously if he finishes second, you've doubled your money in a bit more. And if he happened to win it, he's only a point behind. And like I said, it seems to be a two horse race. And both of them on the same car. So if he was to happen to win it, it'd be a massive return for you. So hopefully many he's done that. I've I've got a bet for you just now. Uh, it would have to be done before Friday though, because qualifying for this race starts. So my mate is absolutely engrossed in anything in uh, Formula One, and he's been talking to me for the last two days about this bet. Uh, it's on a few different bookmakers that I seen it on Skype myself last night again and. The bet is Sergio Perez to be in the first two for Sunday's race in Melbourne. And it's 92, and again, it's a third of the odds. So, just say for talking sake, if I don't know how much he's up betting, but say for talking sake, you've done a £20 each way bet on it to your. If you get a place, you're picking up about nine pound, even if he just finishes second. So nine pound profit, and I would say you could you could bet this every week. To be honest, as I said, it's a it's a two horse race. Again, there might be an odd time up, or could be an incident, and he has to pull out a race or something. But even if he did. If you're picking up nine pound profit every single week on this bet, sometimes it'll be more, sometimes it might be five to one, six to one. But if you're guaranteeing yourself around about ninety two, uh, for the odds, then so if you've done say twenty pound each way on it every single weekend that the Formula One is on till the end of the season, I think he's will make a steady profit. I, I could virtually guarantee you'll win a race. As well between then and now, so you you pick out about four hundred pound, three hundred pound for on winning a race alone. So if you if you're picking up just like nine ten pound every single weekend, I think it's absolute easy profit for these and a little pop builder for the the year for these. You can make this every week like I said and even if the odd occasion if maybe finished out the frame once or twice then you would still cover yourself with the amount of profit you made from the previous weeks etc so I think it's smart betting and as I said my mate has got Formula 1 down to an absolute T and he's crazy in it and he's that's his bet so yeah I know it doesn't seem a lot of money, but at the end of the day, everyone's in the same boat at the moment. We're all paying a fortune for stuff, but we shouldn't really be. So this is a way to get some money back. As little as it might seem, it's not only building up if you're winning that every week. So you can virtually guaranteed to place anyway, I would say. So get yourselves on that, guys. I'm going to fire through some sports bets for you. For those who aren't interested in Formula One and like about football, so well tonight we've got France taking on the Republic of Ireland, and France of France are absolutely fantastic team to be honest. They seem to be getting better and better, and I honestly can't see 
anything other than a France win this evening. And I think France minus a goal at even money is a steal. And that would be my maximum win bet for this evening. I also like the look at Poland minus a goal as well at 85. So that double is just paying under 5 to 1 if he's done the double. Two singles and the double obviously a max single in France. A strong win bet on Poland minus a goal at 85. And the double on France minus 1 and Poland minus 1 then paying just under 5 to 1. There's also an even money one for these there for France to win to now as well. I think that could possibly come up, but I'd be more confident on handicap betting because even if Ireland scored the goal, I still think France could score 3, 4 or 5 this evening because they're, they're absolutely flying at this moment. So that's the way I'm going tonight. So France minus a goal, max win bet and strong win bet on Poland minus one goal at 85. So that's the locker room for these guys. Hopefully he's followed it all. Hopefully he's understand it. Uh, he's may have to watch it a few times with the Formula 1 stuff but uh, it's a license to print money basically if you were getting 92 a third of the odds on see Franco and see the stars against like the horses what are running at Wingfield today and people getting to see see the stars at 92 it's an absolute steal You're virtually guaranteed to be in the first two anyway so just maybe listen to the video again when you're about to bet it but it's, it's smart money two places and it's a third of the odds for that so get yourselves on it but make sure he's got on it before friday because if he does well in qualifying it might end up three to one so make sure he's got on it before then thanks for watching guys and i will see you all on tuesday morning with some racing and we will have another edition of the locker room for Tuesday evening as well so be sure to tune in to both guys have a cracking day cheers